What's up, bros, bears, muscle mommies, and everything in between? As always, this is Patrick, and we are visually analyzing and learning how to analyze analyze our own bench presses. So when you take a video, you don't you shouldn't just post it to the gram. You should watch it back and look for some specific things. On my bench press, we are doing banded bench press with 365 pounds and monster minis, which is one step up from the red bands. What I'm looking for on these doubles is controlled descent and an accelerated ascent. So when we're pressing the bar, we wanna see the speed increase. We wanna kind of see the tips of the bench. With enough weight, we wanna see the tips of, of the barbell doing a little bit of a whip going on because we want to be accelerating faster than gravity can can take hold of the bar and also additionally what we're looking for is any sort of tilt in the bar we if the left hand or right hand is accelerating faster than the other hand that is not good and you can get called for an uneven lockout this is what i call cardio arm syndrome you have a dominant arm and a non-dominant arm i'm right-handed so my right hand gets more fatigued than my left hand. I write with my right hand. I hold things with my right hand. I do everyday tasks with my right hand. So the right hand ends up being more fatigued than your non-dominant hand. And additionally, there's also porn and you probably jerk it with your dominant hand. So that, that's why it's called cardio arm syndrome because your personal cardio is done with your dominant arm. So looking at the bench press, we're doing longer pauses because we're honestly, we're flexing on coach a little bit, kind of complaining that the weights are too light. It, the weights are actually perfect for this training cycle, but I've got a massive ego and I have to stroke my own ego and flex on coach because the if I get competitive with my coach and perform the tasks that he assigns me more effectively, more controlled, more perfect than he aspires for me to do then i am winning if i am undercutting things if i'm sandbagging things if i'm not producing results at least up to par with what he expects of me then i will be losing so we're on set five of this five by two of long pause bench press by this point, we've got a little bit of a fatigue because we've had timed rest periods as well. I believe it's 90 seconds in between each set. So this is the most fatigued banded bench that we're doing. So let's take a look at this bench press. So we've got that even descent. We've got the long pause to flex on the hose and a nice press. Even ascent, long pause. The limiting factor of this pause was the my ability to maintain Valsalva, my ability to keep my breath because you don't want to be regaining your breath and your core tightness when you are under pressure so we're going on to this 303 bench press zero acceleration bench press the 303 stands for three seconds down zero second pause three seconds up so you want to see the bar going down with zero acceleration and you want to see the bar going up with zero acceleration it's much easier to control the bar on the descent than it is on the ascent so what we are looking for in this tempo bench press is any sort of jitter, any sort of drop in the bar on the descent and any sort of jitter where the bar kind of jerks itself a little bit at a time at the transitionary points where we've got different muscle groups attributing themselves to the main movers of the bench press going on in the press. So you see the nice even descent and then we've got a little bit of a jitter. We've got an angle going on in the bar due to that cardio arm syndrome and you can kind of see the bar kind of drifting to my dominant side and the bar dips a little bit there but we are locking out on time now on to this last third set our most fatigued set these felt really good because once we took the bands off it felt like the bar was empty it felt less than 135 which is absolutely above the standards that my coach wants me to be he reposted this saying things are about to get weird because we are beyond what he expects. So this last little set, you can see my feet readjust a little bit because we're fighting that fatigue. Great success. 
And that is that. That's basically what I do to analyze my bench press, looking for those little, small, minute, minute details that can compound to big things once we start loading up the big numbers, the big weights. When we get onto the platform, we don't want any of those negative things that are showing themselves while we are highly fatigued, especially on that third set of the tempo bench press where we've got the feet readjustment. That's definitely not good because that's compromising our base. And the little bit of cardio arm syndrome going on on that last set, especially on all three of the tempo sets where we our fatigue was kind of rearing its ugly head. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe, like, support, whatever. Leave comments with questions because I'm, I'm, I get so few comments that I, I respond to everything. Let's be honest. I've got no life outside of the gym. If you ask a question, I'll answer it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.